Hey traders, Ragi here and in this free video I'm going to walk you through the three C's. I introduced that in a previous video, the, not, the idea of contrast and clarity and catalyst and how that's really the, the foundation of any currency pair trade you're going to make. And I want to walk through contrast and clarity actually in tonight's video. And, and these are the three C's if you're unfamiliar. And what we're always looking for is where they overlap, where contrast and clarity and catalyst overlap. It's a very small section. And in that small section of overlap are your best trades, your best opportunities. And I'm going to bring up the Aussie Canadian dollar because this is a current open position. We just put this position on. And it's a really good discussion about what it is to trade currencies and, and what contrast can help you capitalize on. So the basic mechanics of currency trading, and I think a lot of traders sometimes misunderstand what currency trading or Forex trading is. And even though it is predominantly trading currency pairs, there's so much more that goes into understanding how individual currencies are going to behave. And it's in that understanding, it's in the understanding of what different equities markets are going to do and different futures contracts are going to do that you not only become very adroit at understanding what currencies or the stock of a country really mean, but you become fluent in, in a way that maybe you didn't consider before in dollar, gold, notes, bond, Dow, S&P, Nikkei, copper, crude, you know, you're going to understand the markets from a much more interwoven perspective. And, and, and that's where I think, you know, for me personally, starting off with equities and, and mutual funds and then moving into much more active trading with commodities, being a day trader of stocks, being then being a day trader of futures and then adding Forex. And I do emphasize adding because I never supplanted anything. I always supplemented. What did I learn from this market? How do I carry it forward? And really, that's kind of what's brought me to the kind of what I call four extra trading that I do now. So let's talk specifically about Aussie versus Canadian dollar. And it's a short for those of you that are familiar with my grab and my wave. This is just a markdown or downtrend. And one of the most interesting things about the Aussie Canada is I get to take advantage of contrast but not necessarily the best contrast in terms of the Australian dollar. I think there are better places actually to be an Aussie bear or an Aussie seller. But if you want to be a Canadian dollar buyer, and I think the Canadian dollar buy is getting very interesting because of this interwoven four extra conversation, crude oil being one of the key futures contracts that I not only trade alongside my Canadian dollar, but I'm able to understand better what the Canadian dollar may do. I, I don't believe that the OPEC narrative was really going to be a big needle mover. I think it was going to be some volatility within some very established ranges. And so if crude oil is climbing, there's a pretty good, pretty good likelihood that it's going to take the Canadian dollar with it. The only place based upon how weak the Canadian dollar has been the only place that makes sense to buy Canadian dollar is against the much weaker Australian dollar. So much like a matchmaker or, or someone who's who makes fights, you know, like a boxing match. You know, you have one fighter in each corner. That's what you're kind of doing as a Forex trader. You, and really, you want to make the most lopsided fight imaginable. You want the 90, you know, the 98 pound weakling in one corner and you want a heavyweight champion in the other. And it's when you have that contrast, such a disparity, one strength, one weakness, that's when you get much better follow through. Because what you do when you play a Forex pair is you're selling one currency, buying another. Now that might sound very intimidating until basically when you play Forex and you pull the Aussie Canada up on your platform, your broker takes care of all the minutia of being short Aussie and long Canadian dollar. They take care of all that by you saying, I want to sell Aussie Canada. All that stuff happens in the background, but it's good to understand what you're actually doing with each one of these individual currencies. So 
if I want to buy Canadian dollar because I think the narrative is still fairly positive down the road, especially with the crude oil support in the Canadian dollar, I can be long crude, I can be long Canadian dollar, and I'm going to specifically be long Canadian dollar against that 98 pound weekly, the Australian dollar. The advantage that this gives me is that even if the Canadian dollar starts to waver, you know, it starts to lose a little strength, my Australian dollar, because of its narrative, because of the recent RBA rate cuts, is likely going to be weaker still. So even if the Canadian dollar is weak, you have a much weaker Aussie on the other side of the pair. And that's what contrast affords you. The clarity comes from the actual downtrend that confirms this narrative, which is weak Aussie and stronger Canadian dollar. So this gives you some insight into what we're doing when we're trading currencies. And, and once you understand the buying of one currency, the selling of the other, which currency you want to be short, which currency you want to be long, the advantage of being able to put together these pairs is you get to take advantage of the best opportunity. And let me give you a little contrast here to wrap up this video. A lot of traders, if they want to play Canadian dollar, they'll wander into US dollar, Canadian dollar, because trading the US dollar against other currencies is both the most popular way, but not always the best way to trade an individual currency story. Because if I think there's going to be strength in the Canadian dollar, why would I pit that against the current strength in the US dollar? I've got what I call a foot race, the strength or different degrees of strength on each side of the currency. There's no contrast, therefore no follow through, and you don't see the kind of clarity that we see here either. In fact, the Canadian dollar is losing a little bit of ground against the US dollar. I want to take advantage of the Canadian dollar gaining ground against another currency. This here is your best Canadian dollar buy. And when you understand the power in pairs trading, you'll wish you could trade pairs in every market because it's, it's the difference between an engine firing on one cylinder and an engine firing on two. And two cylinders, by and large, it's gonna get you further and faster than one. And that's really the power in trading pairs.